Hey everybody, Scott Sprintzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Tuesday, April 23rd, 2019. Free pick coming up in the NBA playoffs in just one moment. First, a quick note, great offer going out at DocSports.com today only. Uh, you can receive 20% off one day of NBA, NHL, or Major League Baseball over at DocSports.com, and all you got to do is use the code VIP20, VIP20, get 20% off either NBA, NHL, or Major League Baseball for one day, and go check it out. When you get over to DocSports.com, you can go to my Handicappers homepage, and you click on uh, the sport of your choice. You'll see a little box that'll pop up, and it'll ask you for the code word. You enter the code VIP20, and again, you'll be able to get 20% off uh, any one of those sports that I just mentioned. We're involved in NBA, Major League Baseball, and the NHL. 20% off for one day only over at DocSports.com. Give it a shot. Check it out if you're interested in anything that I've got going on for Tuesday. And here's what we do have going on. First of all, last night, another sweep, NBA baseball sweep. We're now 5-0 and the last two days in baseball and the NBA combined. We cashed last night in basketball uh, with the Utah Jazz, who finally got their win over the Houston Rockets and did it in grand fashion. In baseball, we had the New York Mets yesterday. We're now 3-0 the last two days in pro basketball. And we'll head into Tuesday on a 26-11, 70% run with our last 37 NBA plays. We are up over $4,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit. And I've got a main event, seven-star main event going on Tuesday night in the NBA. In fact, I've got two plays, one side, one total, and that seven-star main event is one of the two plays we've got going on Tuesday's card. Now, again, we're on a 26-11 run, 70% against the spread, 3-0 and the last two days of the NBA. So check it out over at DocSports.com on Tuesday morning. Also, Major League Baseball, well, we're back in action there. We've got one play. In fact, it's a, a nice value play in Major League Baseball with a couple of nice situations that are each 100% winners and you'll find those out when you click on or when you buy or purchase Major League Baseball on Tuesday. I included, obviously, in the analysis and the write-up, the 100% situations. And we're involved in the NHL. We've got a total in NHL action on Tuesday. We passed last night in the NHL, but a nice big five-unit total in the NHL on Tuesday night. But again, the lead plays for Tuesday, the NBA, two plays we look to go to 5-0 and the last three days. We look to go to 28-11 and with the last 39 NBA plays. And again, the top play of the two is a seven-star main event on Tuesday night's NBA card. Go check that out on Tuesday. <clears throat> I wanted to, uh, as I mentioned the last few days, and uh, as we got the voice back a little bit and can talk a little bit longer, we're going to start now with the uh, NFL 32 teams in 32 days. We talked about the schedules coming out last week on Wednesday. The NFL released the schedules and we've also, of course, had the wins totals at a couple of books now uh, for about a month or so. And so we kind of want to jump in, again, a game or a team per day for the next 32 days. And these aren't real long, so you're not going to have to wait a long time to get through these. And then, of course, we'll get to the free pick in the NBA for Tuesday. But I want to start with the AFC West, and we're going to start right at the top with the Kansas City Chiefs over under wins total 10 and a half. Listen, one of the six or seven most difficult schedules in the NFL belongs to the KC Chiefs this upcoming season. They've got three of their first four games out of the blocks are on the road. And check out the run in weeks five through 11 after that tough start. Uh, they've got to go, they're home against Andy and Houston. And really looking this far out and projecting this far out, I've got them coming out of that with a one and one split. But after Andy and Houston, they've got at Denver, home Green Bay and Minnesota, at Tennessee, home against the Chargers before they finally draw uh, their, their bye. <clears throat> Coming out of the bye, you've got four games remaining for the Chiefs, and two of those final four games are on the road at New England and at the Chicago Bears. So the schedule makers have not done the KC Chiefs any favors. Again, one of the six or seven toughest schedules in all of the NFL for this upcoming season. Listen, the defense wasn't good last year, and they probably won't even be at that level when you consider they lost D. Ford, they lost Justin Houston, and we're talking about a team that was one of the worst of the NFL in touchdowns allowed by their defense, also second worst in the league in yardage uh, allowed by a defense. So I, I don't think they're going to get any better. At the very best, I think they might stay at the level they were last year. That's obviously not going to help this team against that schedule that I just mentioned. 
And as much as we like Patrick Mahomes and the offensive play calling for the KC Chiefs last year, listen, it's been reported elsewhere. I am just uh, bringing it to you from other reports and other articles. But over the last decade, there have been five teams that have scored 60 touchdowns or more in a season. And all five of those teams saw serious major drop-offs in scoring the very next year. So it's a situation where we'll probably see the same out of KC. Remember all the time last year, all the times I should say, when Patrick Mahomes is on the run, he doesn't necessarily take off and run with the football, but running parallel to the line of scrimmage, hoping to get guys open downfield. But listen, he was rushed on something like 30% and hurried of his dropbacks. So I think this offense is going to be a little bit less productive than we saw a season ago. Uh, best case scenario for me with Kansas City, 10 and 6. Worst case scenario, 9 and 7. So listen, I really think they got a great shot to win 10 games and get back to the postseason. However, 10 and a half, I don't think they have a best case scenario of getting over that to 11 or 12 wins. So uh, we lean towards the Chiefs under as of right now. Again, a lean on KC under 10 and a half wins for all those reasons uh, that we just mentioned. And again, we're going to do this each and every day for the next 32 days. We're going to pick teams. And then after it's all done, as we get closer to the season, we'll give you our definite finalized over-under wins totals in the NFL. So that's still to come. Right now, though, definitely looking at KC to finish with less than 10 and a half wins. All right, our free pick for uh, tonight, for Tuesday night, we are going to turn to the matchup between Oklahoma City and Portland. Now, we had the Blazers last time out. We cashed that ticket. I like Oklahoma City in this game enough to make them the free pick today because, listen, I know all we've heard about is Russell Westbrook not being able to shoot well from the deep perimeter last time out. Paul George, his shoulder has seemed to cause him problems. He's had a rough time in the series from the three-point line. They've been denied getting inside, which is what Portland will obviously try to do again in this game against OKC because it's worked for him thus far. And Steven Adams has got to pick it up, obviously, uh, tonight. He can't wait any longer. I do think what you're going to see is more ball rotation and passing out of the so-called supporting role players for Oklahoma City. Dennis Schroeder has got to get it together. He's got to have more of an impact directing traffic when he is on the floor of the backup guard for the Thunder. But I also expect to see more inside uh, from the post players of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Again, Adams has got to produce more than he has thus far. And what that will happen eventually is open things up a little bit more for Westbrook and maybe even for Paul George. And I think that's going to be the case on Tuesday night. So our free pick in the NBA for Tuesday is going to be Oklahoma City plus the points over the Portland Trailblazers. All right, listen, uh, again, don't forget about the offer going on on Tuesday. You can get 20% off one day, your choice of the sport, NBA, NHL, or Major League Baseball. We're involved in all three. 20% off the code to use VIP20 and get 20% off. And again, you might want to use that in the NBA. Two plays in the NBA on Tuesday, 26 and 11 run, three of the last two days, and one of those two plays happens to be a big seven-star main event. All right, listen, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprintzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Tuesday in the win column right back here Wednesday morning.